What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy John 25. Tonight, I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown review on how I see guys new. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, Mono Brothers 3K, and let's get started. Now, SmackDown was a god awful show. It was just god awful. Backstage, the Street Profits talk about how The Undertaker's final farewell will be at Survivor Series. The lights dim, and someone says, Rest in peace, is Big E wearing a Sum Hero? Some Bureau. Four asks why he is wearing that. Big E says that's all that's all they had in props. Big E says New Day is going to whip them at Survivor Series. Dawkins says they are going to knock Kingston's Jamaican ass in back. Big E tells Ford and Dawkins the New Day is here tonight. Big E does the, his classic New Day entrance announcement. Back in the back in the arena, Kingston and Wills walk to ring, walk to the ring. I can tell you right now, Big E needs a new theme song. And Big E, and we all need to see the big, the, the Big E serious. Big E needs it needs to be serious, and Big E does need does need a new theme song. That's not that's not the but one hundred percent pure facts. Um, let me know down below in the comment section. That's just simple facts. All right, in ring segment, new day. Wood says they had they had to bless SmackDown one more time. They they are two days away from Survivor Series, and they had. And they have, they will be beating the Street Profits Sunday. Woods and Kingston do a sit-up tribute to The Undertaker. Sami Zayn interrupts and says The Undertaker is only retiring because Zayn owns him a reset and Taker is scared of him. WWE management is trying to protect Taker and just like they are trying to protect Bobby Lashley. Zayn is going to prove the Intercontinental Champion is better. Zayn tells... The new day that if they want to celebrate someone, they should they should be celebrating him. Kingston says they can they can say something nice about Zane. Woods tells saying he looks like a recent recent recently divorced dad who just puts down a down payment on, on a one bedroom apartment. King Corbin walks down to the ring and yells. That New Day doesn't belong on SmackDown. Wills tells Corbin that his crown looks good, but it will look better on him. Dolph Ziggler and Rude, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Rude also joined the party. Ziggler says New Day cheated them out of their tag team tag title opportunity. Rude says they deserve a tag title shot. Kingston says they can't give them a shot, but Wills adds maybe the other two guys in the ring maybe. To the ring may be a better team than Ziggler and Rude. Corbin and Zayn both says they aren't interested, but if they were, they would totally be Ziggler and Rude. Wood suggests they fight, and the winner gets a shot. Gets a shot at the Raw Tag Titles. Rude and Ziggler attack the New Day. The Street Profits hit the ring and make the save. Four flattens all the hills at after a dive to the outside. So we get the Street Profits in the New Day versus uh, um, Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, Sami Zayn, and King Corbett. This was a decent tag team match. The Street the Street Profits double team Ziggler. Roode tags in and eats a drop kick from Dawkins. Kingston tags in and gets kicked in the gut by Roode. Kingston surprised Roode with a drop kick. The Street Profits are playing a game of can you top this? Unicorn Stampede by the New Day. Rude kick out. After Woods sliding drop kick, Corbin tags in. Rude tries to honor roll, but Corbin roll, reverses it into a deep six. Woods kicks out. Woods tags in four. Four tags tags Corbin down. Takes Corbin down with a flying clothesline. Standing moonsault by Ford. Ziggler breaks it up. Kingston tries a crossbody, but accidentally lands on Ford. Dawkins goes nuts. Kingston says it was an accident. After the break, Corbin are working over Ford. Ford managed to tag in Kingston, who clears the ring. Woods gets a blind tag and hits um, Robert Roode with a tornado DDT. Dawkins tags himself in. Ziggler tags in Sane, who is upset because he doesn't want to be bothered with this match. Dawkins drops Ziggler. Drops Dawkins drops Sami Zayn with a spine buster. Ford lands the cash out for the win. The winners of the Master Street Profits and the New Day. 
the the the, the, the tag team match itself was decent. But let me ask you guys one question: Is Sami Zayn is the Intercontinental Champion? Why is he taking the pinfall by Montez Ford? It don't make any sense. All right, but let me move on. Backstage, Sami Zayn runs into Daniel Bryan. Sami Zayn complains and asks Bryan if he thinks he is better than him. Bryan pushed Zayn. Zayn says he won't forget this if he didn't have a big match. He would end Bryan right now. Bryan says he pushed Zayn because of social distancing. Social distance. Okay, then let's move on. So we got Brian. Brian is with K Kayla. Okay. Brian is with Kayla. Brian says he believes Jay Uso when he says it. When he when he says it wasn't personal. Jay has has a double on the shoulders, and so does Brian. Jay is so is in is the one who should be concerned. Backstage, Adam Pearce chosen Otis as the final member of Team SmackDown. Gable walks in and takes the credit for it. So you mean to tell me that Otis is the final member of Team SmackDown? Why you didn't give the fi the final member of Team SmackDown to Big E? It don't even it, it doesn't even make sense. Even though Otis lost last week at the um, qualifying qualifying Survivor Series, so that didn't make sense at all. Why would you give Otis? The final member of Team SmackDown, I would rather have Big E be this be the final member of Team SmackDown instead of Otis. That's just my opinion. There's nothing but facts. Natalia walks in and complains that Pierce didn't just pick her for the SmackDown team. Pierce says he he could only pick one person for each team, and he had and he picked Bailey. So Bailey is the team captain for SmackDown. I would rather have Bianca Belair as Team Countdown Team Smack Team. I'd rather have Bianca Belair as captain of Team SmackDown instead of Bailey. That's just my opinion. Anyway, backstage, Seth Rollins says Murphy owns everything to him. Murphy wouldn't have even met Aaliyah if it wasn't for Rollins. Rollins did everything to save Murphy, and he stabbed him in the back. Rollins is going to teach Murphy a lesson. Rollins, when Rollins is done, Murphy will go back to being what he was, nothing. SmackDown Survivor Series team qualifying match Natalia versus Tamina. This match was just I didn't really care. I didn't really care about this match even though this match was quick. Bianca Belair is on commentary. Before the match starts, Bailey walks down to the to the commentary desk to join. Tamina sends Natalia into the ring steps. Tamina tries a small drop but Natalia escapes. Natalia I mean Tamina miss miss a spear in the corner. Natalia Natalia lays to um, Tamina, Tamina out with a disgust Larry. Uh, Natalia puts Tamina in the sharpshooter. Tamina taps out. Alright, the winner of the match, Natalia, joined Team SmackDown. Bailey stands stands on the desk and yells for the Riot Squad to come to the ring. Bailey hugs Natalia and shakes her hand. Bailey had Bailey named herself named herself captain of team of the team. Bella isn't pleased. I'd rather have Belair as team, as captain instead of Bailey. That's just my opinion. So contract signing. All right, Adam Pierce. So we got Adam Pierce and Drew McIntyre are in the ring again. Why is Drew McIntyre on SmackDown? He is a Raw superstar. So that's all I gotta say. So um, Adam Pierce and Drew McIntyre are in the ring. Roman Reigns music hits, but. He takes his sweet time coming out, come out, coming out on the stage. Reigns is flanked by Paul Heyman. McIntyre stares that dagger through Reigns as he um, saunters down to the ring. Reigns glares at, at, pre, at, at Pierce. Pierce gets up and let Reigns sit at the head of the table. Reigns tells McIntyre that he knew. He could do it. Heyman didn't believe it, but ha but Reigns did. Reigns says McIntyre is the right guy in in the in the right place at the wrong time. McIntyre tells Reigns that if he is trying to piss him off, it it wouldn't work. McIntyre ha has his match, so there is no need to flip the table over and beat up Reigns. All right. McIntyre signs the contract and hands it to Reigns. It's Reigns' move. McIntyre tells Reigns not to underestimate him. McIntyre suggests Reigns 
use to use the next two two day two days for periods because Sunday Reigns will need to prepare for war. Reigns scuff at McIntyre trying to give him advice. Reigns tells McIntyre that he is a secondary champion. Rain, when Reigns doesn't want to do something, they ask McIntyre. Reigns is the face of WWE. Once one day McIntyre will get the chance to be the man. One day McIntyre is going to love him for the lesson he is going to teach him. Reigns finally signs the contract. This is the only part I was entertained. The tribal chief woman, the tribal chief woman Reigns. But I gotta ask again. Why is, Drew, why is the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre on SmackDown? I don't get it. But anyway, let's move on. So we get Murphy. Murphy with the Mysterio family versus Seth Rollins. This match was good. I enjoyed this match for the worst. It says, uh, Rollins tossed Rollin toss Murphy into the barricade. Rollins grabs a candlestick from under the ring. Mysterio yanks it out of Rollins' hand before he can use it. Rollins sends Mysterio flying over the announcer desk. Dominic charged in and is quickly dis dispatched by Rollins. Rollins knocks Murphy off the apron, sending, sending him into the barricade again. Rollins stalks Aaliyah. Aaliyah falls outside the ring. Rollins laughs with a sinister, sinister grin on his face. After the break, Rollins gets a near fall after a sling blade. Murphy sends um, Rollins out of the ring. Murphy lands a dive. Murphy sends Rollins back in the ring. Murphy goes up top but is quickly cut off by Rollins. Superplex into a falcon arrow by Rollins. Murphy kicks out. Murphy rolls out to the ring, out to the apron. Rollins and Murphy fight on the on the apron. Rollins, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Murphy blasts Rollins with a flying knee. Murphy tries to use the ropes but Rollins knocks Murphy off the ropes. Murphy hits a mat, hits the mat hard. Rollins hits the ropes and runs right into a knee from for from Murphy. Murphy hits his finish his finish for the win. The winner of the match, Murphy. This match was this match was good. I enjoyed this match for what it was. All right, so we get in ring segment. Um, so we, yeah, we get the in ring segment. Sasha Banks and Oscar. This is the third. This was the third straight week in a row that Carmella attacks Sasha Banks. All right, Michael Cole says this. This is the end of a long rivalry. This this summer, Banks stole Oscar's Raw Women's Title. Oscar mocks Banks for losing to her at SummerSlam. Banks says she is going to win at Survivor Series. Oscar tells Banks that she can't see her. Oscar Oscar does see a ton. Banks says they don't have to wait until Sunday. Banks says they can go right now. Banks is the best of the best. Oscar tells Banks she isn't ready for Oscar. Carmella attacks Banks from behind. Oscar watch, watches as Carmella brutalizes Sasha Banks. Um, Carmella hangs Sasha Banks in a tree of wool. Carmella yells that she told Banks to watch her back. Carmella kicks Banks in the face. Uh, backstage, Kayla finds Jay Uso. Kayla says she wants to ask Uso a question, but isn't sure if Uso ha has permission to. Uso says he did what he did to Brian because he wanted to. So, Daniel Bryan versus Jay Uso. This was a pretty good main event match. This was pretty good. As soon as the bell rings, Brian attacks Uso. Uso sends Brian to the ropes. Brian leaps over Uso and lands a few, lands a few stiff kicks. Brian takes down Uso and lands a few crossface. Brian lands into Uso strikes after strikes. Uso floors Brian with a running back elbow. Uso clears the announcer desk, but Brian attacks, attacks from behind. Brian sends Uso back into the ring. Top rope drop kick by Brian. Uso and Brian trade strikes. Brian back body drops Uso over the top rope. Suicide dive by Brian. Um, Uso surprised Brian with a with back body through the announcer table. After the break, Uso is working over Brian. Brian tries to go up top, but Uso cuts him off. Uso lands a superplex. Brian kicks out at two. Uso Uso tries a small drop, but Brian turns it into a pin. Uso kicks out. Brian almost ro rolls Uso into the yes lock. 
Uso escapes and unloads on Brian. Enter back. Uso goes up top. Brian cuts him off. Brian lands a avalanche back suplex. Brian fires up. Uh, Brian lands the yes kick. Uso kicks out. Brian traps Uso arm while stomping on his face. Brian calls for the flying knee. Uso drops Brian with a super kick. Uso lands two more super kicks. Uso attempts the Uso splash. Brian gets his knees up. Brian hooks Uso's leg and pants him. Alright, the window of the match, Daniel Bryan. And SmackDown goes off the air. But like I said before, SmackDown, the first hour of SmackDown was, was got awful. The show itself was got awful. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, I'll leave my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys this Monday on my WWE Raw review on highlights. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here.